Fish New Shibon Fish New. Welcome back to an episode of uh, Victoria 2 Hard Darkness. Where we are just casually building up an army and, you know, just upgrading. Oh man, my throat's not hurting. Um uh, yeah, we really don't have much really happening in terms of action-packed episodes. But we are about to Oh my goodness! Wow, okay, now they're making money. Okay, I guess we just had to wait. I was like, how is this not making money? This is like right in the center of my place. How is this not making money? This is like, I mean, this place was like primed to be, to be outputting this much. Okay. Right now that we have this, I can kind of build this. I know this is going to require lots of resources, but it should get an extra bonus from this. And this is like, this is like the major bonuses I was talking about. With this much fabric factory and fire factory dies, I should be okay there. Um, Transalore, what, I... Still not sure that I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it, but I'm thinking too much. I'm thinking too much about it, and you know what? I'm just gonna call it Transalore because it's much easier. Okay, you guys could definitely. Hmm. What are fruits used for again? Um, fruits used by basically no one of importance. Yeah, because it's not being. Wait, wait. It's used for winery. Okay, so we can use this for a winery or, you know, let's build some more glass factories, because we actually do need some more glass factories. We don't need to always, like, we don't need to, we don't need to build, like, like, there's one thing I think people have to understand about this game, is that you don't need to build, like, um, really, really spread out factories. You can build really, really tight-knit factories, and they work about the same as regular old SMO factories. Okay, so, let's see, have we always started, no, we have not started that one. Let's see about this one. I think I actually have too many. Must have accidentally deleted them. Dang it! I think I actually deleted the uh, troops from last episode, so that kind of stinks. Should be replacing them right now, though. Let's see. Is there any other horsemen we have? Mm, okay, you. Uh, you guys go down here, and I think I'll start making my new. You know, what? let's just let's just let's just make a lot of these things because I feel like I'm gonna need. There we go. 13 should be enough for me to finally figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing with them. And then, also, guys, as you guys know, we are, est right now, as you guys know, we are establishing a protectorate over, um, Tibet. <coughs> Man. And the next target I think I'm going to move on from there is I think I'm going to conquer, um, Zixing. And the reason why I need Zixing is because then I get a good sulfide deposit, which is what we need. We need sulfide. But we also need to have, um... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm not trying to conquer you. It's all in your imaginations. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on from there so we can start doing some RG outputs. And then we'll have a very lopsided border, but it will be very, 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 very something. <laughs> I don't know what to say, so... Now what we need is we don't need we don't have any iron, I already know that. Um timber output, timber production, medicine. I'm wondering if I should get medicine or timber production. Population growth, army nutrition. Army nutrition is gonna be big for us in the future. Um You know, let's get this. Okay. But yeah, we are just rapidly text you know, building up our new factories. Um honestly we don't need okay, that place is not ready for new factories. This place completely ready to not be to not be supported and I think I'm gonna even like upgrade it um, why did I build this I, I I don't even have a furniture okay well oh yeah cuz there's actual lumber in the place but okay now I remember now I remember now I remember okay but yeah let's build an actual furniture factory I oh I can't actually build a furniture factory <laughs> That's why I didn't build it. I can't actually. Okay, well I can finally build a fertilizer factory, but I still can't build a fertilizer factory. So yeah, we're basically gonna be doing that. And right now, work harder, work smarter. Actually, now that we're a civilized power, we actually need to work smarter. Okay, right now our economy is just doing great. Right now, Gondola. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here, my fancy little thing. Gondola. I'm going to increase relations. Cordial. Um, yeah, we're basically gonna have to fight these guys with everything we got, um, this looks like it's gonna go, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I wanna do this right now, I want to do this right now, this would be such a good time, but you know what, I'm gonna wait, 
I'm gonna wait because once as soon as if I can finish this war to bet really really quick which is what I'm planning on doing ah shit why do I keep building troops right in our province okay uh you guys go right here let's see you guys okay you guys de can deconnect and yeah why do I okay let's just do that yeah, you guys are all gone okay we don't need any more in there so let's get some in here yeah this is the one where it has lots and lots of stuff okay but yeah let's start moving some of our armies upwards so that we can instantly start conquering you know most of it and we'll get to use our national guard oh wait a minute this is not a national guard wait where's our national guard uh national guard yeah, there's our National Guard. Okay, we're going to move this up. And this is actually a pretty dang good... Actually, I'm going to have to wait some moving troops to actually go help it out. So, let's see. We're doing pretty good in terms of factory growth. Um, economy's really starting to recover from, you know, massive whatever. And we are going to be expanding a little bit. Because you know what? People have told me to conquer Tibet. And you know what? I want to conquer Tibet, too. So, it should not be too hard, it's just the war justification is getting slowed down by what are you talking about. Um, we do seem like we have another option to give some more on Biclanir. I should probably just do this, this is much quicker. Alright, so Biclanir, increase relationships, now we're cordial with all these guys, which is great. Because right now I think the UK is basically distracted, they're not going to try to attack us at this very moment. Uh, and then, Miss Lore. Yeah, because they're, they're way too occupied with the crisis going on right now. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to have fun conquering Tibet. Just so much fun. All right. Yes! Oh, they're coming for us, everyone. They're coming for us. I just know those good do no good Tibetans are coming for us. They're coming for us with those spears and knives and fancy Buddhist preachings. But they're coming for us. I know they are. And that is not racist, everyone, because, they, because at this time, Buddhist, Buddhist people did not have very good weaponry and at the most I would say they would have at the most I would say they would have uh oh now you guys get kicked in the gear it's like no I'm trying to combine you guys into a very powerful force I need you guys to stay here all right stay here for a second but yeah uh, if that did actually offend someone I'm sorry I'm sorry I do not in these let's plays I do not mean to offend anyone that is one of my kind of like semi par rules. I don't want to offend too many people. All right, let's decombine these guys. Oh man, I'm actually making my militaristic power drop and rise at the same time, which is kind of interesting to watch. But uh, Bombay, could you please go deal? Yeah, please go deal with all these rebellions. I know there's gonna be tons of them. All right, you guys. Actually, I don't need you guys in the fight right now. You guys, yeah, go deal with all these. Okay. Okay, in a couple of days, we'll be able to declare war. I'm not even sure if Bakur will even, or Burma will even join in on this conflict. It doesn't, I don't really feel like they would, because this isn't really their kind of conflict. Um, so much men, but so much time. Okay, so let's see, Tibet, time to declare war, establish a protectorate. No particular reason why I'd want Tibet, like, Particularly in terms of resources wise, it's not particularly gaining, but it does once we it's a kind of a good point to where we can actually do then go in and go take over um, Zixing pretty quickly and I th we could actually fight against the Russians, which is such a like revolutionary concept All right, all right, so I need you guys to not do anything to start invading over here Okay, so Burma did join in so I'm gonna need to put some troops over there Alright, no, you guys just go over this way. You guys should be able to fight enough of these guys. Alright, you guys stop doing that. Just go right here. And I do have forts right on the borders of everything. So I should not have to deal with that. Uh, you guys just start going over here. I have to go through here? Really? Ah, uh, dang. I did not know they actually had a choke point on us. Okay, well, let's go right there. Can I go through these mountains? No, I have to go completely around the hill. Himalayas. Wow, we did not invent we did not invent the, the airplane yet. Okay, well everyone go my minions go Okay, and apparently when we go to war we actually get our, our money actually goes up which is one of the weirdest things Negotiations have failed and so now they're at war. Yeah, I kind of already knew that um, Yeah, uncivilized power. You're not gonna fight me. This is I'm, I'm bigger than you 
I, I've been there too. I've been where you guys have been. So yeah, now they're trying to discredit us. They're not going to fight in all the regions. Trust me. Demand concessions, whatever. Yeah. It's, my army's going to slowly trickle in. I'm not even, this is not, I'm not even deploying my, uh, full army. I mean, look at, I could deploy 192k. I mean, that's pretty much deadly right there. I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's not really worth it. Okay. So let's see, all my men are just slowly coming in and Burma's, Burma's is not going to be able to deal with it. Just watch this next move. 34, 59, civilized soldiers. One of my militaristic leaders just died. Well, it, obviously, if he died, just doing stuff. Actually, we need medicine. We need medicine now. Because that's actually a good tech we need. Okay, but if he died, let's see. So let's see, that's going well. Yeah, we're dying from our own nutrition, which is kind of stinking right now. That should be dealt with right there. Yeah, we should. They, they are, we're basically going to be able to take over Burma, too, if I manage everything correctly. Um, because I think the protector is the Great British, and the British are kind of occupied right now. But that would also delay me if I want to go to do stuff with the other guys. And let's see, how are we doing over here? We're getting closer and closer with over there, but not quite a cigar. No cigar yet. So let's see, let's move our soldiers, move our soldiers. Oh man, this is such a bad nutrition. So much nutrition, and then they're all dead. They, I, wasn't even, I don't even think my troops were trying to do that, but... That was clever, okay. So let's see, you guys are all just stupidly just camping here? Why are you guys just camping here? This is taking massive nutrition. Get out. Okay. Just get out, we're gonna start... None of my armies over here, I can start like spreading them out on the, you know, Burma front. And we can start actually doing some stuff. So let's see. Just... Oh my goodness. Do you guys have like no... No! Don't you dare! Go this way. Go this way. Go conquer this land right here. We're gonna need this land for our own enjoyment. Wow. These guys just like got... Wow. Man. Alright, is there any army that needs three cavalrymen? Alright, I'm looking... Okay, right here. So let's go right there. I should be able to make up here, but dang. What are you guys doing? Just stay right there. Don't even move. Oh my goodness. Sometimes these guys just annoy the heck out of me. And sometimes they kill themselves. It's not even like my fault sometimes. They just kill themselves. Okay, you guys. Yeah, you guys can stay here. Actually, I need you guys to combine right here. So you can make an ultra super powerful force. And yeah, the invasion of Burma is not going exactly to plan. But I think it'll go much more smoothly once... We have some of these regions. Um, you guys did not move. What the heck? Uh, long ago, in a distant land, I, the leader of the Indian people, saw this great evil, which is called nutrition. And I could not do anything to stop it. Uh, okay, let's increase the relationships with these guys, and let's move on. We're not now doing just kind of a southern invasion. Uh, we're, we're basically... Burma's basically done for already. I haven't even really done much to them, but they're basically done for. Um, yeah, we could probably move in our troops to the actual province over here. Uh, yeah, we're just, we're just basically crushing these guys right now. Are you drunk tonight? You know, you might be drunk. You, you might have had too many, dude. You might have had too many. Let's see, we have all this. This is still going pretty great over here. Uh, yeah, they're, they're basically gone for. I basically have everything I need. So, yeah, let's see. So, the British are... I'm seeing which ones they're fighting me for. Right now, Grandeur is the one that they really don't seem to want to be fighting me on. Except now they do want to be fighting me on that one. Which kind of stinks. I was kind of hoping I could keep with this. Okay, let's go to Mesosaur. Uh, increased relations. Yeah, we, it's just basically this kind of back and forth for a while. Until at least one of them gives up. Alright, these guys are going down. Oh my goodness. Well, I wish I owned... Wait, can I add a Kazabelli to just conquer Burma outright? Like, seriously? Seriously, can I just add a, a war goal to conquer you? I can, but I take 22 infamy and I really can't afford it right now. Not even with the signing of the Geneva Convention could I afford it. Dang it. 
Besides, I don't really want to either, because I still do want to go to war with these guys over here. What? Okay, so that's how they would get through my land. I knew some way, somehow, they'd get through my land. Luckily, I have enough soldiers over here. Let's go send them. You guys go over here, go protect my land. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we should be increasing our relations to Mesolahor. I think I'm doing the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm increasing the wrong type of relations. Alright, let's get some early industrialization. Alright, uh, as soon as I get a little bit more, I'm going to... Oh. Well then, I guess I don't get to do what I wanted to do. Okay, you guys, are you about ready, Burma? Just get out of this war. This is not your war. Oh, wait, they would not accept this offer. I'm going to have to wait till I annex these guys. Alright, you guys, let's see. Yeah, you guys combine. Uh, deselect. We no, the other cavalry just basically do this, all right? And select these guys and delete those guys. Send these guys over here, and we're just all good. Okay, you guys are moving in, and yeah, we got the capital. Yep, this war is over. So after this, we can go back to making more and more uh, resources for our own beneficiaries. Um, yeah. I think I know why we might also be failing at this so badly. Yep, forgot to do the money thing again. Like, I bet some people were shouting in the comments. Or at least somewhere in their head saying, Yeah, James, I know why you're dying. You forgot to do your men. Yeah. Sorry about that again. Uh. Man, there's so much nutrition. Like, the pet plateau is just, like, terrible to fight on. Just terrible. Alright, but I'm doing okay right now. I'm doing okay. It's not like the best war ever. We also have to be increasing some of our factories, because now I think some of them have been built. That's why I'm upgrading pretty severely. Oi! We actually had a major market crash for some reason. So let me help support these guys. Because these guys actually help run my economy. Yeah, I think the war is actually affecting us negatively. That's really weird. That really is weird. Okay, then I'm going to have to really be mindful of that because I don't want the, the people to get so mad at me at. Okay, I'm just going to keep my soldiers right here because I'm not sure how good the Tibet soldiers are. And I think, yeah, uh, I'll go send, once these guys are done, I'll go send them back to go kill those other guys. Man, let's see, how fast are my sieges going? Uh, they're going okay. They're not going the greatest speed ever, but they're going pretty good. And I got population boost. Which is not actually something I need. <laughs> okay, I finally... Okay, now I can finally um, do what I was going to do, which is increase relationships. Okay, now I'm friendly with those guys. In a couple years, I'll be able to get them out. And now they just banned me. Well, at least I got the couple years thing down. Okay, let's see. Can I... No, no. You guys just stay here to make sure they don't, like, use that trick over there to get me. So I want to make sure they don't use that trick. Okay, once you guys... Yeah, get, stop getting army nutrition, seriously, this is really... Okay, you guys both go over here, go kill these Tibet, the Tibetan army. Then we should be able to almost completely wipe these guys out. Okay, you guys, go kill these guys. Go kill them. Okay, you guys move down here. Uh, I'll even add some more... I'll even add another army over down here to help you guys out. So we can finish these guys off. Actually, you know what? These guys, just go hunt down these guys. Alright, and now we got some more railroads we can build. Yes! I love building railroads. like my favorite thing in this game. Boom. Boom. And with this expansion trick that I learned from one of my subscribers, it's so helpful. I just want to say that now. It's like so helpful. Like, I'm just like, railroads are the key to like helping you out in almost in this game. Especially if you have a big empire like we do. It helps you out so much. Alright, so we have to build right here. Okay, uh, that's Persia land. I don't want to help the Persians. <laughs> I still have kind of a grudge against them. Uh, so that's Persia land. Still, even though they aren't, they didn't do anything wrong to me in this Let's Play, actually. They didn't do anything wrong, but I just still have just kind of that, Ugh, I want to attack them so badly. Um, yeah. Over I should be increasing my relationships over there, too. Um, let's see. Okay, well, let's just keep our guys right here. We're going to move them in right there. Yeah, it seems like we have basically everything we need. You guys are just taking so much nutrition. It's not even funny. All right. And then you guys are going to go down here. We basically have all of Burma basically done with. They actually might. The law must 
let the law slip. Wait, did I just allow meetings? Did I just allow meetings? Ah, dang it. Now we're going to become a very liberalistic country. That stinks. I was hoping to keep it out for a little bit longer than that. All right, so what we need... We actually do need to go down a little bit over here because I do need to get some engineers in our country. That way we can start, like, actually sieging through this stuff pretty quickly. Because I just remembered why... Okay, so let's see. How are we doing in, our, in this battle? Ooh. Send half the good men to go help these guys. Okay, because we're going to need to win that. Yeah, we need to win that. Okay, they're like moving towards, they're moving towards over here. That cannot be allowed. They cannot gain any more land. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we definitely cannot let them gain any more land. We have to keep them completely in the dark. And make sure that I got everywhere yet. Oh, I missed one spot. I knew it. I knew I should have looked at this a little bit harder. Okay. And Russia. Okay, when I can expand Russia, that usually means... Oh, no, that's not Russia. That's uh, Mongol and Mon Manchu. Okay, so yeah, it's two versus this. I should be able to win this just because I'm a great power. That's the only reason why I'm hoping I'm going to win this. No, I'm going to lose this pretty badly, too. Uh, well, these guys are almost all done down here. And we are having... Wow, I'm really going to lose this. Who it? It's so close! Ah, uh, shoot, I'm, I'm going to lose. I'm, I'm going to... I'm, okay. Yeah, wait, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to accept that loss. Okay, I have my actual, this is an actual army, so it should be actually able to go kill them. And now I'm going to go attack them on both fronts. They're gonna die either way. That's what I'm basically saying. They're gonna die either way. Okay, you guys right over here. Oh yeah, you guys are the force that's helping these guys see through things faster. Alright, you guys are about ready to give up, by the way. No, you guys still wanna fight me. And apparently that war between the great powers is still going on. Kind of funny. Okay, you guys go right there. Yeah, they have nowhere to escape now. Nowhere to escape. Should be able to close them in, kill them, finish this war off. And now I gain the entire northern point of China, which is now going to be called Northern India. That's going to be awesome. Also, wish I could actually expand down here too, but they just cost way too much info for me. Way too much info for me for what it's worth. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to rebuild this army. Okay, uh, you guys go help out these guys. You guys go help out these guys. That should be the last territories. And yeah, then we're actually done with this war. Um, cause then we just need to like pull back all of our men, put them on the fronts, and then we can start a Kazakh Belai against Zing Zing. Cause I doubt, I seriously doubt the Russians are gonna have enough men to fight me and fight everything. The only thing I'm worried about is having, uh, Alright, we need to get some army professionalism. The only thing I'm worried about is having the uh, other guys come in and try to, like, these guys, is other alliances come in and try to kill me. Let's see. Right now, we're not really friends with China. They're partly westernized, so we're probably never going to be friends because they're never going to be westernized. And the only alliance with China. Dang it. Okay, let's see. Russia, how are we doing in your guys' alliance? Not really good. You guys still don't want alliance with us. Over here, we finished it off. Yeah, you guys are annexed. We're annexing you guys. Yeah. Now Burma, give up. You guys severely lost. Now give up. You know what? You know what? Before you give up, I'm gonna make you my puppet. Yeah. And that's gonna incite the wrath of the British? No, the British are not coming after me. Good. Okay, now we have all of our soldiers now starting to heal up in this Tibetan plateau region and can we actually go through here no we still can't go through that so yeah I actually do need these guys underneath my control because if we do not have these guys underneath our control we actually can't get not cannot get to the Tibetan plateau until we get this part so let's just finish up with this finish up with all of our conquests they're obviously giving it the best they can you know valiant efforts I'll give them that valiant efforts but you know it's all for not I know how to win this Okay, let's just go up here. Let's go. Let's go make sure Krakatoa has exploded, everyone. Yeah, let's just deal with that. Okay, you guys go right there. Finish off these guys. Let's have these guys as our new puppets. <laughs> oh, I think I think that's like I think this is revenge for my Siam Let's Play. This is this is like feels like the revenge for my Siam Let's Play. You guys, and thank you very much. 
So now, guys, India now expands from here to here. <laughs> oh, man, we look so lopsided, though. I still have to annex some of these little tiny regions. And let's see, we can actually do some cool things with one of our countries. Bina, what can we do? We're finally in friendly. So with every single one of these, we're now in friendly. So that means basically the British has to really watch their back because I have powerful influence with every single one of these guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a cool episode, and I'll see you guys next time.